Squat depth seems to be all the rage lately, and we're gonna quickly cover the importance of knowing the differences and different ranges of motion in a squat. We're gonna go over the quarter squat, the half squat, the parallel squat, and the ass to grass squat. So first up is a quarter squat. Now this is what a lot of uh, gym enthusiasts tend to make fun of people if they see a noob in the gym doing squats, and that sometimes looks like this. They're staying very upright and they're not getting a big range of motion. That is a quarter squat. However, some athletes actually want to be in a quarter squat. Some plyometrics and power exercises are trying to mimic the way that you would jump in a sport, for example. So if some sports, you don't jump all the way from the ground, you'll just do little jumps from here. Even think of basketball, for example. You're not always gonna jump from here unless you're doing a jump ball. When you're dunking or something like that, you're taking a really small squat lunge position and jumping up. So don't always make fun of someone depending on their squat depth. If they seem like maybe they know what they're doing, chances are they do. So yeah, chances are if you see a noob in the gym doing that type of stuff, they probably are doing it wrong, but there are people out there that know what they're doing and they're doing quarter squats for a reason specific to their program. Now next up is the half squat. This is where your hips and your knees bend to about a 90 degree angle. Now there are a couple of benefits to doing that as well. One is that it's usually a safe zone. You can get, you can get pretty low enough so that you still get good activation of the quad muscles and a little bit of the glutes while maintaining a safe neutral spine and you're still getting a nice effect of your squat. Again, there could be sport performance reasons in there too. Same reason as a quarter squat, some sport specific movements, you want to overload in that half squat position. However, most research shows that unless you're overloading the range of motion of a quarter squat or a half squat, something heavier than what you would normally be able to do in a full ass to grass squat or parallel squat, you're better off finding out your safe range of motion and trying to get into a parallel neutral spine squat. Now by parallel, we mean having your thighs parallel to the ground, something like this. That ensures that you're going deep enough and maintaining a neutral spine, and you're still getting a huge amount of tension loading your quads and the rest of your legs. Now the last range of motion is ass to grass. That's literally going as low as you possibly can. So for me, if I go all the way ass to grass, I start to round my lower back a little bit. Now this is me really trying to fight it, so it might not look that bad on the video, but it's not necessarily the safest. However, it is full range of motion in everything. My knees are completely flexed here, and my hip is as flexed as it can get without rounding and putting me in an unsafe position. Now, there are two types of situations where ass to grass can be pretty important. One is for bodybuilders. If you see bodybuilders squatting, a lot of them wanna go through every range of motion, but they'll specifically go ass to grass as well because they feel like they get the biggest stretch and biggest activation in that bottom position. The other scenario is if you're an Olympic weightlifter. If you're competing in Olympic weightlifting, you have to be able to squat as low as you can, catch that weight in the bottom position and come back up. So in the very bottom position, you're catching a snatch like this, and then you're squatting it back up. So you do the whole exercise and you're thrusting that weight up and you gotta get under it. And the lower you can go under it means the heavier you can catch. That's because say, for example, arbitrary numbers, you can throw 200 pounds up to here, but you can only throw 250 pounds up to here. It benefits you to get underneath it and then squat it back up. So that's just an example of how it's used in Olympic weightlifting. Not to say that's necessarily safe, it can be a dangerous sport. 
but it's sport specific. So if you are not a bodybuilder or Olympic weightlifter and you can't get your spine in that neutral position at the very bottom in the ask to grasp position, then you're better off not going that deep. A lot of research shows that you still get a huge amount of tension in the quads and the rest of your legs going to parallel. Whether you have a bar on your back or front squat position or using dumbbells. So there you go guys, that covers the four main ranges of motion in the squat. The quarter squat, the half squat, the parallel squat, and the ass to grass squat. For most situations, the parallel or half squat position is gonna be your go-to for a safe and effective squat.